Alright, hello, my name is Triple S, also known as the Disliked Man, and this is another Technic tutorial. I was having some problems a minute ago with frame rate, which keeps dropping to hell like that. I don't know why. To normal, please. There's no reason for you to be doing this. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing you two lovely pieces of jewellery. <coughs> two amulets, pardon me. Two very good looking amulets. I'm getting annoyed with my frame rate dropping to 6 frames per second when it should not be doing that and has no reason to. But yes, I'm going to be showing you two amulets called the Volcanite Amulet, Volcanite, Volcanite, Volcanute, and the Evertide. And for that, you're going to be needing six dark matter, which in itself would be 48 stacks, 64 coal and 6 diamond blocks. If you want to know how to make a dark matter, check out my Nothing Really Matters tutorial. You're also going to be needing not 3, 6 of them. I don't know why I picked 3. 6 buckets of lava and 6 buckets of water. That's what you be needing. So let's get to it. Let's put the uh, 3 dark matter in the centre line. Horizontal. Let's make the Vulcanite one. Fill in the gaps with all six of your lava buckets. There's a bird over there somewhere. And we have a Vulcanite amulet. And absolutely horrendous frames. For no reason. Now I'm going to do this quite far away from my area over there. And the further I get away, the better my frames get for some reason. It's kind of weird. Trump doing that. But it is. It's kind of good. And I look over there and they drop again. That's really weird. There's no reason. There's nothing over there. There's no, like, like one time where I had a crystal chest full of like tons of items and it all just went to hell. And I'll have a look at that afterwards. Oh no, that, yep, there we go. The frames go to hell again. <sighs> we'll put up with it for now. Sorry about this, folks. But. Good distance away. This is annoying. Oh damn! You also need a Klein Star or any other type of fuel, which also encompasses coal, redstone, that sort of thing. So I do actually need to go back. Holy mother of hell! Alright, no, I've got to stop and start and sort this frame right out. Alright, I'm back. I figured out the problem. It was my own fault. Usually, I would put my laptop into power saver mode, which lowers the frame rate of games which, you know, do like 60 frames a second, because I think 30 frames a second is fine for recording. So, I had it like that, and that was what was messing with Minecraft, or Technic. So anyway, we're back again. All is fine. Blag. Just get rid of these spare buckets. And... Fine start, there we go. Right. Onwards to... Away from here. Because it's a Vulcanite armor. Which... You could either draw to conclusion for that. It's either related to Vulcan. From Star Trek. Which... Would be kind of weird. Oh, it's part of something of a volcano. So, here we are. Now, of course, like the rings and all that, this uses, you know, EMC, which is done in the Klein Star, so let's do. I, I right click on the ground, it makes lava. Press R, it fires a firebolt, which can, you know, hit animals and burn them to death. Or when it hits the ground, it um, sets that on fire. So, let's set that tree on fire. And that tree is going to go up. You can also charge it. Let's press stuck in this direction. C. Cancel. C. Cancel. Okay. Let's change the key configs of these. L. Okay. Menu. See. See, it's not working. Okay.
Okay, oh! Well, charging up makes a longer line, but C should work in making a massive line of lava, although I might be wrong. Because V just charges it up. C makes a noise, but it should. Die piggy. <laughs> ah. Controller? Nope. Well, anyway, one of these things should have been where you press like C or something, I doubt F or G. That should have been where you would um, make a long line of lava. Quite a massive line of lava, in fact. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'll get some redstone or something. See, I read these things on the wiki and I'm thinking, oh, I'll mention that. And then they don't even bloody work. Yeah, C's not working. It was supposed to... I think pressing C was supposed to make a long line of lava. Cool thing with this, also, is that you can just walk on lava. It doesn't affect you. Let's make... It slows you down still. Kind of bad. Let's just make a little pool of lava here, a line of lava. There we go, and I just walk right on top of it. If I want it to go down, I press shift, I want to go up, I jump. So I could just find, I could just go into the nether, give a massive pool of lava. It's taking too long. Oops. Oops, I made some lava over there. Put it down. Oh, fine, then don't. Okay, now I'm sinking in lava. Why am I doing that? It shouldn't be happening, I should just walk. Okay, I'm confused. I am just supposed to walk in lava, not sink in lava. Alright, whatever. Well, you sink, but you don't die. You can float on lava then. Just floats like normal. And it doesn't hurt you at all. Another cool thing, is if we head over here to the water. This is ice. So it doesn't work on ice. We need water. Why is this not working? Whoa, that works. We can't turn it on. We're pressing C decimates water. So I'm guessing from me reading this on the ticket wiki, the ticket version, just holding this and walking towards water just gets rid of it. Instead of it doing it on its own. So I don't know what the key would be to make a long line of lava in the technic version, but yeah. Pressing C just destroys water and you could just clear pull ponds out of water and just make you could destroy the sea if you wanted to with this again still uses up Klein star energy and EMC in that we're getting night time already doesn't do it to ice though kind of weird there's a tree there and there's the ocean and we've just decimated that lake, that river. Look at that. Like Moses or whatever he's called. Part in the ocean. Where the hell's my house? <laughs> And of course you can decharge it to, you know, not have that much of a nasty effect. So I'll charge it all the way full and completely decimate everything. But there's that. Now I'm going to show you the Evertide amulets. Are the bunnies still here? Yes they are. Good. 
and so the dolphins. I'll probably tame these as well. I only tamed four of the dolphins that I had trapped, but eh, whatever, so I've got the albino and the red one. Don't need this anymore. Oops. I accidentally double clicked. Now to do the avatar one is the same. Three dark matter, fill them against your water buckets. Evertide. Now, this is for water, but it essentially does the same type of thing. If we just go over here, not for much the safety of my um, uh, little camp, but I just don't want to flood it all. <laughs> Pardon me. We also with a lot of lava over here. So now, if you right click, place water. Ah, fires a water projectile, and as it goes over lava, it cools it, so it would make either obsidian or stone. We'll charge it up. Could you still have my amulet with me? Charge it all the way up. And C doesn't work for this. I thought it did. Some things just, 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 are just bleh. Well, you can do that. Get you out of the water. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm being flooded. Yeah, get out. There we go. Turn this entire place into an ocean. I keep forgetting that I can't fly. I keep thinking I can fly, but I can't. Turn it all into stone and cobblestone, whatever it is, and obsidian. Oops, that's not our. So you can do that. And also, if you do this into the sky, you should start raining. There we go. That's a handy way to make it rain. Along with the Ring of Arcana, I think. Or one of those rings that I showed you before could also make it rain. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That's something in the future. I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got a thunderstorm here, but if we do this with the Vulcanite one. Then it should stop raining. There you go. There you go. Easy and simple. So we've uh, just fucked this area over completely. Completely drained some parts, but there you go. That's is the Vulcanite and the Evertide amulets. Despite the fact that one effect of these amulets which should have worked did not for some reason. I don't know why. That thing's just making a weird noise. Flood you! I flood you! Go in the water. And it's just for this entire place. Drain our Klein Star a bit. There you go. It's a nice little water park. Yeah. <laughs> and a bunch of seeds as well. Pick these up. You should just walk on water with this as well. Which is pretty weird. Instead of sinking. It also stops you from drowning, I seem to remember. Let's go over to the ocean. Try it out. I haven't heard this bit of music before. It's in a it's attorney game I haven't had the chance to play properly yet. Called Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations. I shouldn't sink, but I am. Okay, in Technic, they don't have that ability. It stops you from drowning, but you don't exactly walk on water. Unless I'm missing something here. 
I'm pressing the activate. what would be the activation button for the rings. It's not like turning it on or anything. But yeah, I was reading that from the ticket wiki, which I was thinking might pretty much be pretty much the same to Technic, but I'm guessing not. But anyway, this was a tutorial to show you how to make the Vulcanite amulet and the Evertide amulet. And the pretty handy things go well with the rings because it's all equivalent exchange still. See here, put that back in there. This is zero ring, you could use the Evertide amulet. Every time I have a lot in Tekka as well, there's supposed to be the ability to freeze things with C. That's what it was. But it wasn't. I don't know why. Because that's Tekka and this is Technic. But anyway. Put those in there. If you find out the ability, it's good for you. But. I know. Where I should have. Because I read it up. And it told me. But it didn't. It was lying. I was lied to, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. I was lied to by internet words. But anyway, my less, also known as the Disliked Man. Hope you like this video, this tutorial. I always ramble on, I'm just blare. But anyway, thanks for watching, round of applause. You've been a wonderful audience. Goodbye. Hello, sorry, yeah, just a quick tag on from the end of the video. Some things I actually forgot to mention that completely slipped my mind. You can also use this amulet to act in some cases as lava buckets and water buckets and to create lava buckets and water buckets buttocks. So if you get the Avatide amulet, put it in, put an empty bucket in, you should be able to make water bucket. And you can I think you just keep doing that. Yep, you can. And you keep getting the amulet back. I don't think you can do the same properly with an Avatide amulet. Uh, and a Vulcanite amulet, sorry, because you need to add in a bit of redstone and then that makes a lava bucket. And also, if you were to make an iron band, which is, which would be a square of iron with a lava bucket in the centre, you can swap the lava bucket for a Vulcanite amulet and make iron bands like that. If you ever need to make an iron band, you can do that. And I do believe that is it. So, yeah, thanks for watching again. Goodbye.